this project could have died. Crews around the city of Calgary will soon have to get to work removing signs like this here at what would have been the Shepherd Sea Train Station and Storage Facility. After phase one plans for Calgary's Green Line were cut in half, leaving residents in this area without an immediate plan for Sea Train access. The Green Line has been one of those projects that people purchase their home down here believing that it was around the corner. Spencer is the councillor for the area and voted in favour of the adjusted plans, saying it was difficult, adding he is getting right to work to promote increases to transit service in the area. I mean, I, I grieve. Um, I live down here and I have kids as well. Uh, those are my dreams, that my kids would be able to use the Green Line to access the University of Calgary um, and, and have the whole city right at their doorstep, so to speak. The Shepherd Station was set to be the southernmost stop for Phase 1's construction, but with no set timeline for sea train development in the area, residents will have to keep to their current transit routines, some commuting daily an hour and a half one way. It would make things a lot easier to get to, especially from this part of the city. We don't have a lot of transit here. It's the, very much just buses and you know, those things. you got to take a pretty long bus ride to get anywhere in this city from here. It's a little disappointing now that I know about it, but, you know, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. It would be a lot faster going to and from school, as well as going to work. It would make it a lot easier, so I don't have to wait like 30 minutes for the bus. For now, this undeveloped grassy area will remain the only green thing, but Spencer says residents shouldn't lose hope. Getting started was the biggest hurdle, and I can totally understand and empathize why many right now don't see this as good news. But from my perspective, this is good news because we needed to start. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.